from China. I was there the day before yesterday, and I was uh, at a party, a phone party, where we launched a phone in Taiwan. And uh, I was shocked, I mean, I was, I was pleasantly shocked uh, by this line of people who would, uh, in one case, wait three hours to get me uh, to sign a Fonera for them, uh, which they were deploying in Taiwan, right? And I, and I was thinking, well, how can it be, you know, that a company that starts in Spain a year ago in Madrid, a, and, and in one year, which we announced actually at Le Blog a year ago, the launch of Fon, so it's been a year, and in that year we got Google to be our partners, we got Skype to be our partners, we got Index Ventures to be our partners, uh, we got Sequoia to be our partners, and, and we became the largest Wi-Fi network in the world. And basically what we do is, you know, people get this thing, the Fonera, and they put it in their window, and they build their phone company, which is us, right, phone. And it's us, it's ours, and it's theirs, because if you put this thing by the window, you roam the world for free. And this idea has caught on in Taiwan, in Hong Kong, in Korea, in the United States, all over Europe. And I was, I was just trying to understand how, you know, what is it? Because obviously it's a crazy idea, and the topic of my, my conversation today is about, you know, how, how you can turn a crazy idea into a global business, but particularly in a company that starts in Spain. For example, I remember uh, Sergey from Google, when they finally decided to invest with us, he says to me, but of course you're moving to Silicon Valley, right? And I said, no, Sergey, we, we're staying in Madrid. Really? He says, like, can you name one global technology company that comes out of Madrid? I said, phone, you know, and we're staying, you know, and, and it's been hard to get the Spanish people to build a, a global phone company, I can say that. Uh, I love everyone who works at phone, we're 100 people now, and I'm super grateful to them. But I tell you that at the beginning, it was really hard to convey to our Spanish employees what it was to build a global company. Because I would say that in Spain, the most that had happened was building a company that serviced Latin America, maybe like, you know, the 400 million people who speak Spanish. But here we were talking about building a company in Europe, in Spain, in Madrid, not known for being a technology place, and Europe overall in Silicon Valley, I think, has a, a, a reputation of being like, um, I don't know, like an older person who used to look good, you know, who used to somehow do well. And, and now they're, they're, I think we're perceived in Europe as somewhat decadent, maybe to see, to see us because of the monuments and the things that we used to do, right? So when you come up with a global movement out of something we do now, it's, uh, I think it's shocking in Silicon Valley, but for me what was particularly shocking was to see how well we're doing in Asia. Now one thing about Asia that I've learned that I'm new to Asia is that in Asia your dream is when you finally make it is you want to be a European. And uh, you go to Hong Kong and it's all the European brands. You go to Japan and it's all the European brands. Some American brands, but mostly European brands. Uh, 